I'm going to be doing my unboxing video of the iMac book and we are going to kick off this thing. So, first a tab. Oh my gosh, I am super excited about having this MacBook. You guys don't know. I can't, I don't know if my camera is blurry or not, or if you can see anything. But this is my old Mac computer. It works just fine. The only thing about it is I put something on the screen, or I set either I sat on it or I set something on there, and this part of the screen is like out. It still works just fine. Like seriously, it's just fine. It's just I need to get this fixed, and it costs like six hundred dollars to get this fixed. I know you guys are like, well, Crystal, you just pay like thirteen hundred dollars for another computer. You could have paid six hundred dollars and got this fixed. I am gonna get this fixed in due time, but I don't really. It's not like a necessary thing since I'm not in school. And so it's not like a pressure thing for me to get this fixed right away. But I really wanted a Mac desktop because since I have since I have my new school and desk area, I really wanted a desktop. So I'm assuming, just like I've watched several of unboxing videos, this is the keyboard. I'm sorry if my lighting is a little too bright, you guys, on here. Oops, that's way too light. Yeah. So I really wanted to get a desktop, but I was indecisive about if I wanted the 21 inch or if I wanted the 27 inch. Cause I, you know, I'm, I live in Texas. It's go big or go home. So I really kind of wanted to get the bigger one, but I was like, you know what, Crystal, hold your patience, get the small one. I, and I never saw this one in the store. I never went into the store and looked at it or anything. So this is a keyboard. So this is my first desktop, you guys. I haven't had a desktop since the Dells came back. Dells came out with the Black Dell computer, I think back in 2004. So I haven't had a desktop since 2004. Yes, I do work on a desktop from home with my work computer, but it's not my computer. It's my work computer, so it's not the same. So I haven't had one personally, and I have never had a Mac Dell. I have a, obviously, as you guys know, I have the Apple iPad 2020 to 12.9 version, um, the newest version. So, and then I have my iMac, my MacBook, my MacBook Pro that I've had since 2014. So this laptop has, I, it's, it lasts forever. So let's get, stop talking here and let's try to unbox this thing. So I watched a few unboxing videos, but I haven't actually like watched them through. I just, I just really wanted to look at the box, the unboxing videos for the setup purpose. And I did a store pickup. I ordered mine online and then I picked it up in the store, so. I didn't want to wait for shipping because I've seen some people sitting there waiting for shipping and I'm like, I'm going to the store and pick mine, so forget that. So I'm not sure if they had theirs whenever they first came out and they were sold out, but. So this is the monitor. It is snug and it's, oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells like a new seriously. So I am super happy. Ugh. And I'm doing this all by myself. So this is the cable cord, I'm assuming. It was in here, but mine was stuck up for some odd reason. It's just slid out. Everything is brand new. My box is a brand new box. It hasn't been used. I tried to see if there were any good deals with open boxes, and I know you guys are probably like, oh, I wouldn't have bought a refreshed one. But honestly, that 2014 laptop that you just saw, the MacBook Pro, I bought that one used. I didn't buy it brand new. And it has last forever. And that's one of the reasons why I love Apple and Mac products because they last forever. I've seen people online talking about they've had one since 2011. 
they had the first one that came out and it still worked just fine yes some things has been updated the one I got, I didn't get the one terabyte one. I got the 256 gigabyte one, same as my iPad because I figured that I would never use that much space on one. And that's the one I got. I got the 4K Retina Display one because my laptop is a Retina Display one and I love it. I love how clear it is and I love it. So now on to the flip side. Let's take this off here. I wish you guys knew how happy I was about getting this laptop. Seriously. I mean, this iPad. I mean, this computer. I I'm really excited about it. I was really happy about getting it. And I'm still happy about getting it. This was like a last minute decision, you guys. Like, I did not plan on getting this. I had looked them up last year, but I was just like, you know what? I wasn't planning on getting a computer or anything until I got into the nursing program. That was my thing because I felt like this year is my off year. Why get a computer and I don't really need it. But then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? Let's just have a little fun. I'm just checking it out, seeing how new it is. Again, I've never had one of these, but this is a pretty big size. Let me see if I can compare it to something. This is my iPad Pro 12.9 screen here. So just a little bit of comparison to the largest iPad that is out there in the world. Well, not really the largest one. I've seen one larger than this one, but this one is pretty big. And just a comparison, so you guys don't be like, oh, that looks small. It is huge, you guys. It is, this 21.5 this is not a baby at all. It's big. <laughs> Imagine having 21 inches, like a 21 inch TV like some people have. So let's go ahead and pop this little film off of here. But yeah, overall, I am so happy about getting one, seriously. Something new to play with, you know? And then plus, by the time I do get into nursing school, I'll be able to have everything set up here on my desk and I will be able to just enjoy it. And then I'll already have a computer, so it'll already be set up for me. Ah, this is so nice. Oops, I found something. There is a screw that is screwed out somewhere that is stuck, that was stuck to this little thing. Now I have to see where it goes, or if it belongs to my computer. I gotta keep up with this. It's a very tiny, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a tiny screw that was stuck in my plastic little film right here. So very curious to see where that screw go to. I'm gonna take it and put it up somewhere where I know I'll be able to locate it later. Just in case if I ever need it or if it becomes a problem or something to see if it's actually ever been used and sometimes you could just tell there's some things that you just cannot hide so yeah it, fa it looks fairly new to me okay wow this thing is so heavy I don't even know where to put this box at So this is actually where mine is going to go and I will show you guys. I will move this camera around somewhere over here. So mine is gonna go right here. I have a wonderful fish tank, shrimp tank that I'm getting ready to set up here. So um, if you're wondering what that is, that is my fish tank. But this is basically my little study area down here all over here this is just kind of my little study corner that I have in my living room that is set up like my little office space and I have my laptop my iPad I am super excited okay so let's go ahead and get some of the other stuff done